Bitnapping TV. Hi and welcome to Bitnapping TV. My name is Bastian. Today it's all about the web. And well, if you're talking about the web, of course, we need to talk about GoDaddy.com. What else? Well, if you wanna get 10% off your purchase at GoDaddy.com, whatever it is, domain, web hosting plan, service, whatever, just use our promo code or coupon code BITNAP1. It will give you 10% off any undiscounted order and 10% could be pretty much, isn't it? Huh? Well, and now let's go from GoDaddy to Google Wave. Well, you probably heard about Google Wave, the new hot thing from Google. Well, it's a web application. It combines email, Google Docs, Google Maps, Twitter, Twitter-ish stuff, instant messaging, and more into one messaging service on steroids. Well, but it's only a web application and we all love Mac apps. Well, what do you do? Well, you can turn Google Wave into a Mac application using Fluid that we already showed you. Well, it would have a few flaws, but the guys from devthought.com, they came up with a pretty nice solution. So we just do what they say. So we open Fluid, we go to www.googlewave.com we say Google Wave, and we don't use the website Favicon, but we use another icon. They provide a pretty nice large icon on their website, and we create the site-specific browser. We click Launch now, and Google Wave starts. And, well, you can log in. Just use my user credentials. And it loads. Pretty good. And well, we've got this uh, wave here. And if we would get a new reply, um, normally you, you would expect that from an email application to get a badge on your dog icon. But it's a web app, so you don't get a badge. And this is where the dev thought guys are pretty good, cool because they created a JavaScript um, that you can use um, as a user script to make badges appear. So, at first, you download the user script from their website. Going here, downloading it, then I'm clicking the, the script icon up here, and I go to Open User Scripts folder, and if it's a fresh install, you don't have anything in here, and you just take the JavaScript, put it in, go back to your Google Wave application and make sure that you reload all user scripts and that the Fluid Google Wave is checked. This is very important. So, now we go to the preferences and we make sure that on the behavior, closing the last browser window only hides the window. And well, checking this makes sure that if you close the window here with a, with a, um, with the red icon, um, does not log you out of Google Wave and you always, always have it available and well, that's pretty important to get the badges. And speaking of badges, I see that there is a badge down here, so I can just move it next to my email application. And Tino tells me, asks me whether I have this badge. Yes. Thank, oh, thank you. And I hit done. And even if the Google Wave window is, is away, I would get um, badges from um, new messages that come into Google Wave and I don't have to check manually every time and this makes it pretty easy I would say. Okay, so far so good. So if you happen to have some Google Wave invites that you want to share with our viewers, just um, Twitter us, email us or whatever and so, like this we can um, maybe share some Google Wave invites with our viewers because we did not get any. But Probably you can also search for Google Wave and invites and maybe there are websites that have some Wave invites uh, left. So just try it. And if you want to help us in another way, go to iTunes, search for Bitnapping TV and leave us a rating and a comment on the um, Bitnapping TV part or entry in iTunes. And well, with better ratings, we will get um, better ratings in the entire um, score, scoring system, whatever that is that's running in iTunes, and well, we can get up in the ranking. I would say that's a wrap, that's it for today, and well, wave you soon, goodbye. Submit your tips and questions at www.bitnapping.tv.